Welcome home. No, not here. Back there. These stacks of shipping containers near the Port of Los Angeles may soon be used to build your next house. And this custom home is, uh, is just over 3,000 square feet. Architect Peter De Maria is designing homes out of shipping containers. They're pre-insulated and already have hardwood floors. They're strong, resistant to mold, termites, and fire. And above all, they're plentiful. The cost of steel and cost of concrete has gone through the roof recently. Uh, that forced us to explore some alternative materials. China's voracious appetite for building materials has driven up costs of traditional construction. And the nation's massive trade deficit with China and others has left hundreds of thousands of empty shipping containers piling up in storage yards all over the country. So a growing number of architects and builders are using the container glut to save their clients hundreds of thousands of dollars. Custom home construction in Southern California can easily cost $250 a square foot. This house is being built for about half that. But the mountains of containers are a big problem for others. Last year, 7 million containers arrived here full of imported goods, but only 2.5 million left carrying American exports. Many of the rest are now polluting residential areas near the ports. This is the unintended consequence, really, of the whole international trade industry, but particularly because of this uh, gap that we have between imports and exports. But it is a blight that really no other community, I, I think, in America suffers. They said that slab floor here. Architect De Maria says recycling the containers for home construction will help improve the environment. He's also working with the city of Los Angeles to use shipping containers in low-income housing. The city of Los Angeles recently passed a law prohibiting the operation of new shipping container storage yards in residential neighborhoods, because in some places, shipping containers mean the sun sets an hour earlier. Casey Wyan, CNN, Wilmington, California.